We knew we had a special team going in, um, very good team, and but we didn't know how good until we got there. The wind started piling up and all of a sudden we're in the regional finals against SoCal Blue and we lost to pretty handily. Went to I think the seventh or eighth shooter in PKs and, and lost and it's devastating, heartbreaking. So the girls are ready, right? ready to come back. Essentially, the vision and the plan for this team was set when we're at second place on the podium. Um, so from that, that became day one for us. And, and then it's been, how do we get back? And how do we get better for next time? And how do, how do we plan it differently? And how do we work even harder? And we just added pieces. And, and the vision's there, and it, it's just letting them know that you're a really, really good team, and so you need to get even better because we step on the field and we hang with pretty much every team that we ever play with. And the only time we struggle is when we don't try our hardest. So it's just trying to keep them focused, keep them honed in, and keep them on the kind of the bigger picture, which, which would be hopefully heading to nationals. You know, that'd be the biggest stage. And so that's what they're trying for. After losing, I wanted nothing more to go back out and start training because I knew that's what we had to do and it's just our passion. It's okay to be tough, it's okay to be mean on the field, and it's okay to get really good at something and not feel bad about it and not feel like you have to play down to help other people. It's always competition night, um, always. Every game we play, uh, the kids have to keep track of their own score, they have to know the score. If they don't know the score, um, it means their team lost. So we didn't go into regional sleep and we're going to be champions. We went into regional sleep and we're going to be ready to play really well. And we barely got out of bracket. But with each game, we got stronger. And I think it was because of the work that we put in, we were very prepared. And when the quarterfinal game came around, we played very well. And I think it created a sense of belief that, hey, maybe we can do something here. Winning regionals made everything that we work for worth it. You're on this platform and this high level's there, and you need to meet the standards and exceed them. And we did that. I think what it means to the players was that if you put your mind to something and you really work hard, it's possible good things can happen. It doesn't mean that it will happen, you can't guarantee anything, but if you put the work in, there's a possibility that down the road you can be rewarded for that. Anytime you get a chance to, to play for a regional championship, a chance to represent Washington, it's something that these guys take very seriously and something that we're proud to do. At the end of the day, we feel like we can play with anybody, and it's 11 players on 11 players. Same game here as it is in Boise or Southern California. Well, I mean, obviously we want to win. You know, that's our, that's our goal. Um, I know personally, all of our players, we want to grow and develop. I, I mean, we're going to play soccer to get better, but it's always nice to take home a trip.